your subconscious mind is never short of ideas. There are within it an infinite number of ideas ready to flow into your conscious mind and appear as cash in your pocketbook in countless ways. This process will continue to go on in your mind regardless of whether the stock market goes up or down, whether the pound sterling or dollar drops in value. Your wealth is never dependent on bonds, stocks, or money in the bank. These are really only symbols, necessary and useful, but only symbols. So as you go to sleep at night and you say to yourself, wealth, success, wealth, success. Well, you admit there is such a thing as wealth. You admit there is such a thing as success. The infinite can fail. The infinite is within you. You're born to win. You're born to succeed. Just take these two words. What happens? They activate the latent powers of your subconscious, and you're compelled to succeed. You're compelled to be wealthy. The point I wish to emphasize is that if, is that if you convince your subconscious mind that wealth is forever circulating in your life, and there's always a surplus, you will always and inevitably have wealth, regardless of the form it takes. It has taken the form, as you know, the amalgam of copper and tin or zinc or something right now. It hasn't any intrinsic value. You use a piece of paper, don't you? The only value it has is the value that we place upon it. The government says uh, this $10 bill will buy so many oranges and all that. All it is is a piece of paper. It isn't even silver. It's not even gold. Uh, there are people who claim that they're always trying to make ends meet. They seem to have a great struggle to meet their obligations. Have you listened to their conversation? In many instances, their conversation runs along this vein. They're constantly condemning those who have succeeded in life and who have raised their heads above the crowd. Perhaps they are saying, Oh, that fellow has a racket. He's ruthless. He's a crook. This is why they lack. They're condemning the thing they desire and want. The reason they speak critically of their more prosperous associates is because they're envious and covetous of the other's prosperity. The quickest way to cause wealth to take wings and fly away is to be envious, jealous, or criticize and condemn others who have more wealth than you. You can rest assured that that will impoverish you and bring more and more lack into your experience. There is one emotion which is the cause of the lack of wealth in the lives of many people. Most people learn this the hard way. It is envy. If you see a competitor depositing large sums of money in the bank and you have only a meager amount to deposit, does it make you envious? The way to overcome this emotion is to say to yourself, isn't it wonderful? I rejoice in that man's prosperity. I wish for him greater and greater wealth. And you're selfish when you do that, because what you're wishing for him, you're creating in your own mind, body, and experience. To entertain envious or jealous thoughts is devastating, because it places you in a very negative, destructive position. Wealth flows from you instead of to you. If you are ever annoyed or irritated by the prosperity or the great wealth or success of another, claim immediately that you truly wish for him greater wealth and success in every possible way. This will neutralize the negative thoughts in your mind and cause a never greater measure of wealth to flow to you by the law of your subconscious mind. If you are worried and critical about someone whom you claim is making money dishonestly, cease worrying about him. You know such a person is using the law of mind negatively. The law of mind takes care of him. Your Bible tells you, fret not about evildoers and the workers of iniquity in your 37th Psalm. So read the 37th Psalm. It's a great eye-opener, you know. Be careful not to criticize a man for the reasons that we just said. Remember, the block or obstacle to wealth is in your own mind. You can now destroy that mental block. This you may do by getting on mental good terms with everybody, wishing for everyone what you wish for yourself. 
And as you do, wonders will begin to happen in your life. It is your right to be rich, you know. You're here to lead the abundant life. You're here to be happy, radiant, and free. You should therefore have all the wealth you need to lead a full, happy, and prosperous life. Of course you should. You're here to grow, expand, and unfold spiritually, mentally, materially, and professionally. You have the inalienable right to fully develop and express yourself along all lines. You should surround yourself with beauty and luxury. Why be satisfied with just enough to go around when you can enjoy the riches of your subconscious mind? Yes, make friends with money, and you will always have a surplus. Your desire to be rich is a desire for a fuller, happier, more wonderful life. It is a cosmic urge. It is not only good, but very good. Money is a symbol. It means to you not only freedom from want, but beauty, luxury, abundance, and refinement. It's a symbol of the economic health of the nation. When your blood is circulating freely in your body, you're healthy. When money is circulating freely in your life, you're economically healthy. Engage your friend. Your friend is your subconscious and give you all the wealth you need to do what you want to do when you want to do it. When people begin to hoard money or put it away in tin boxes and become charged with fear, there's economic illness. Money has taken many forms as a medium of exchange through the centuries, salt, beads, trinkets of various kinds. In the early times, a man's wealth was determined by the number of sheep and oxen he had. Now we use currency and other negotiable instruments, as it is much more convenient to write a check than carry some sheep and cattle around with us to pay our bills. Now as you go to sleep at night, and every night you go to sleep, practice a very simple technique. Repeat the word, wealth, words rather, wealth, success, wealth, Success. You admit there's such a thing as wealth. Walk down the street, go out into the country, can you count the stars or the sands of the seashore. And you're born to win, to succeed. The infinite can fail. The infinite is within you. So wealth, success. Use these words quietly, easily, and feelingly. Do it over and over again as a lullaby. Yes, you will be amazed at the result. Wealth will flow to you in avalanches of abundance. This is an example of the magic power of your subconscious.